What's up guys, it's Crash. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the weapon stats and attachments for the SVK. It's the second DMR you get. Um, it's an incredibly strong rifle at distance and medium range. You can even kind of spam it and get away with it up close once in a while, unless you're coming up against somebody with a PV-29. Uh, but anyways, I want to talk a little bit about how this gun works and some of the best attachments to use and the way I like to set up my plus system uh, to be the most flexible in battle. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the main stats. It has an 80 speed of 483 milliseconds that's with iron sights uh the 3.5 scope is actually a few milliseconds faster on ads speed which is pretty interesting uh they don't change it too much it's really not too noticeable uh fire rate is at 211 rounds per minute uh fire rate with the short barrel ups it to 222 rounds a minute I'll, again these attachments guys are so subtle uh you probably can't tell much of a difference there either uh essentially it has without a suppressor or not the extended mag. So if you're using the regular rounds that you start with, it has an unlimited damage range of 60. So you can two shot people to the chest with armor. It takes you up to 120 damage to clear that armor. If you put a suppressor on there, it takes it to 54 damage, which you can still get two taps on people without armor, but an armor person is gonna take one more shot. So that's just how suppressors affect it. It feels really good to get a two shot kill with a suppressor. Um, however, it's not worth it in my opinion, because you're probably on the map anyway. Uh, headshot damage is 90 if you hit him in the head. So if someone's wounded at all, you can get a one shot uh, likely to the head. Uh, that picture on the right is something very interesting. And this is just kind of a tip, guys. Um, if you find in your missing shots and you feel like you're there, it could be the weapon spread. But I've also found with most scopes, it seems like the bullets hit just a tiny bit high. So maybe instead of aiming for that head, aim for that upper upper chest and neck area and you might get that headshot. I found that I was actually shooting over some enemies because the the point of impact on the bullet seems a little bit high. I was holding my crosshair on those on that line of rivets and the bullets were hitting just about a bullet width above it um, in that shot. So I thought I would make you guys aware of that. Um, so anyways, let's talk about how I like to set this gun up. Um, I like to have three options for sights, uh, close, medium, and a long range. Um, for close range, uh, I really, I kind of like uh, the Smart 1.5X. And then at medium range, uh, the 3.5X three, the sight, is uh, the M22 3.55 is one I really like. This is the one that I run around with most of the time. And then I put the BKS 8X on there just for uh, in case I see someone really far away and I can switch it out. That's the BD, the plus system. We can we can be flexible with these. Um, I like them quite a bit. Um, again, uh, word of warning, if you use the 8X, you will uh, put out a scope glare. So keep in mind, if you use a 3.5X, it actually had a little bit faster ADS speed, um, 433 milliseconds. So this is the site, uh, the M22 3.5X that I would recommend uh, just running almost all the time and then switch to these two if your situation changes. Uh, the other big one, guys, is the ammo. So you're gonna see the ammo and you're gonna only have uh, five rounds. Or, and six rounds if you're fully loaded. So if you run it dry, you load it, the mag's five rounds, one in the chamber makes six if you're fully reloaded. And you're gonna think, man, I really wanna unlock this and get more ammo. This has 15 rounds in it, but it has a massive, massive effect on the damage range and it's almost not worth using. So at 40 meters, this drops your damage all the way down to 35. So you're gonna have to take three shots to kill instead of two, or four shots to someone with armor. And it, it just doesn't feel very good. So I would definitely stay away with from these. Uh, these armor piercing rounds honestly don't do a lot. Uh, they, they make it like a three to four shot kill on uh, infantry. And I can't tell how much damage they do to vehicles because there's no damage indicator on vehicles. So I haven't tested that too much yet. If you see a vehicle that's on fire, you might switch to those and try to spam and get a kill. They're just not too effective. They're very similar to how K bullets used to work in Battlefield 1. So um, I'd recommend staying with the uh, with the stock, stock mags here. And then we'll go ahead and look at uh, barrels here. Um, honestly, these... 
these don't do a lot either. Um, you can put a suppressor on there if you want to. Um, I usually run the long barrel. It helps with the bullet uh, velocity just a tiny, tiny bit, like a couple frames at 100 meters. But but that's what I've been running. And then if I want to put a muzzle brake on there for a little bit uh, faster follow-up shots, there's a little bit less vertical recoil. It is extremely minor, guys. You honestly can't go wrong uh, with the... Uh, uh, attachments on the barrel this is what i go with uh the long barrel doesn't really affect ads or anything it doesn't do a lot but i just feel like it could be a little easier to hit shots at a longer range it might be a placebo effect uh either one of these are fine and then if you do want to suppress or if you want to be kind of stealthy keeping in mind you'll have to three shot someone with armor uh you can run that as well and then uh on the barrel under barrel excuse me uh i usually run uh these uh, vertical grips because they help with uh, lessen bullet spread tiny. There is a little bit of bullet spread with this gun and these lessen it ever so slightly if you're static. I feel like if I'm moving, if I'm strafing, then I'm not really needing that extra pinpoint accuracy. But if I'm trying to hit someone far away, I'm not going to be moving. Uh, so I do this LWG grip that helps uh, accuracy while static cut down on the bloom uh, just a tiny bit when static. Again, it's really, really negligible. Uh, but either one of these two grips is fine. I usually run the LWG. I think it does a tiny bit more uh, from my testing. So this is how I set up my plus system and then i want to show you one more trick so this is generally how i have it set up you can see that this 3.5 x scope is is really nice for this gun if someone's close you can still get it if someone's far away you can line it up but anyways that's just my preference so the one thing i wanted to show you guys is when you run this thing dry and it reloads it's only gonna have five rounds in it that's because there's five in the mag you have to work the action one goes in the chamber and you only have five total rounds if you have time if you're not in trouble hit that reload button again and get that sixth round in there because as you know as a two shot kill that gives the possibility of a three kill per mag instead of a two and i don't know how many times with this gun i've gotten a kill with that last bullet so Definitely make sure that you do a double reload if you have the opportunity, if you don't have enemies pressing down on you and uh, you're able to do that. I just wanted to let you guys know, keep an eye on that, reload twice when you can. Uh, that's essentially all I had for today, guys. You really can't go wrong with this gun. Let me know how you get along with it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Be a friend, tell a friend. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.